Welcome, welcome to the best Kickstarters of 2020. Ooh, <clears throat> this is the first of two videos. This one is going to be for the games under $100, as it's two categories. <clears throat> All of these are amazing and really excited me this year. They're the best of the best that I've seen. And um, in this first category, we have eight contenders that are going to be joining the Kickstarter Radio gaming room. Yes, in the loft of the studio up in the mountain. All right, let's get to number eight of the list. Dodos riding dinos and wow, this game was amazing. It really was a fantastic game. A Basically, Mario Kart all but in name were <clears throat> when you're throwing objects at the other cars, it, you're doing it in a dexterous way, yes, with physical things that you're going to be throwing. And um, yeah, it blew up big time. 32 stretch goals unlocked. Fantastic minis for the racers as well. All the racers are characters that are riding on top of a dinosaur. And if you've got kids, you know they love dinosaurs. And these are all cuddly dinosaurs that are so cute and beautiful. Oh my goodness me. Now this beauty, as you can see, is on pre-order now. It's um, so you can still get it. And an amazing game for the 50 bucks that it was. Now it has a cup mode and derby mode. So it has like a leg, a campaign to go through the different tracks. Um, the runners actually now got are coming coloured, which is great as well. If um, the retail box is not going to have these, obviously, when it comes out of a th a retail, there was also um, was, they were saying that if if you put um, if you were throwing an object at one of your minis and you painted it up, you don't want to damage it, so you could hot swap it out for for a, a basic meeple here and then let the player fire the projectile at them. So it's like, these are like <laughs> the um, stun actors of the race, if it, if you will. The cards are all basically based on weapons and all this stuff. And they even came with a one-shot RPG adventure for a bit of fun that you can, that's going to come on a PDF. So yeah, the tracks were kind of unlocked through and um, all that goodness. Just what an amazing um, Kickstarter it was. And um, the detail on the mini, um, we've got our own Kickstarter video that we put here. It was definitely um, one of the best Kickstarter games for kids of the year. No question about that. And um, yeah, just what a Kickstarter. What a Kickstarter. Just so much fun and all that good stuff. Of course, links will be going down for all these videos down below. And um, this one you can get for pre-order. Just Dodo's Riding Dinos at my number eight slot. Just an amazing game. Let's go to the next. Now, Bullet Love Heart, the shoot 'em up puzzle action game. Oh yeah, level 99 game. And this one looked fabulous. Well, for pre-order still not... Um, Prices are a little bit higher, actually, than the Kickstarter price, which is a bit of a shame. But it's a fantastic, fantastic kind of emergency gameplay, real time, where you're dropping cubes down and lots of special powers are happening. And it does feel like you are shooting your opponents across so that you can really mess up their columns and stuff like that. Just really good action arcade style fun that's happening and um, cards as well that give you special powers to fire then at your at your opponents and I was completely wowed by the artwork and the characters it has a all-female cast that's fighting and um, yeah really really cool and it has some amazing components as well you can kind of see the heroes here all with their own um, asynchronous start and um, the art is just really cool. Now the deluxe one is you get these tokens to play with and that is a great level to go for and um, 
Oh, it was just so good. Good, um, good shipping price across the whole board, and it just well, such a well done Kickstarter. And I just love the fact that these um, discs now used for the columns, and um, it was just so good. I've got the link down below of the Kickstarter, and of course, this all these games were covered on the channel, of course. But yeah, super good fun. Bullet comes in at my number seven. So let's see what's next. Now, Tales from the Loop, the board game. Um, came from a um, big RPG series and um, the actual writers of the RPG are the ones doing the board game. And it's actually a campaign story game based for kids. Yeah, an app, a kid's game with a campaign story mode where you play these teenagers and absolutely great. Bobbing around this map with um, some interesting characters that you're playing all have their own positives and negatives of what they're good at and you're going to be doing skill checks and all sorts. You can, you can team up to do certain things. Like you might need to um, help a person climb over something and of course it has these droids which is what Tales from the Loop is all about. You can even hack the droids to help you out and stuff and um, the you know the campaign stuff was actually pretty cool. Now the standard edition was coming in at around the $60, the deluxe was pre-painted minis and all that good stuff so just sneaks in there under a hundred dollars but yes if you wanted to to play a campaign game with your your kids this is another kids game on the list and um yeah you get the designer here who plays through um one of the settings and tells you about what's going on but yeah it was really kind of fascinating this because uh you know the campaign style kickstarter games are normally for the adults around the table but this one was really marketed down the at a younger age and um, one that you know as a parent and your kid could really get into for a bit of fun and role play on the island oh yes it just was really good again the role playing is a, it's a, an award-winning role play game that got turned into a TV series and um, here was the board game again written by the writer of the RPG so a really good writing good game mechanics and a good RPG campaign game what a Kickstarter it was and that was my number six the great race oh yeah this this was fantastic oh my god this was a fantastic Kickstarter and I expect it to come back round in the future with it with uh, an expansion because there is a lot in this game and there's a lot more that could come in this game and really really good we're talking of a historical racing across africa and uh, you're playing all these legendary teams that were um you know based in history they've all got their own cars their own um meeple for that for the car they all come from different countries they all have different cars with different abilities um, the actual boards are massive and beautiful double-sided south africa and africa the expansions in the future are going to include the rest of the world so you're going to have all continents based for racing and um, oh my god the the player screens beautiful art knocking back to the like the 1900s uh, screen printed meeples look at the vehicle minis and um, as it started stretching it was it was really good as we'll see each continent gets their own bag you're going to be pulling from the bags then to decide the events in the race uh, you do have your vehicle dashboards which you can speed up slow down um, take damage of course through going through swamps and um, going through tough terrain and um, you've got money because you can stop at cities and you can you can buy upgrades, repair your car and stuff because you're kind of on a tour. The race is, is a tour going on. And um, fifth player introduced um, a female player, which was which is in history. 
and all this was good. So this was this was a game that you really wanted to go for everything, and um, oh yeah, just the wow, wow game. So you're not not just racing, but you're doing a great tour across the continent, and um, and all that good stuff. So it was really good. Some interesting stretch goals, including weather that was coming in and um, all sorts of really cool stuff that was happening. Assistants that come on you on your, to help you out, an expert that could come on on the, on the tour, um, dual layered board now, and um, you could potentially upgrade it where you, you've got bigger fuel or bigger engine, all this good stuff. And oh man, it was just a fantastic Kickstarter. Well, hopefully if you missed it, it will come back next year with more continents and maybe you'll be able to pick up the first Kickstarter of the game. But wow, 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 yeah, the, uh, the suffragettes were racing, yes, with Simeon de Froret. So, yeah, a historical racing game touring across a continent. And if you play this like in a campaign style, so you're doing a world, a race around the world. So you could, you know, you can actually play this over a number of sessions whilst racing across all the continents. Oh my God, what a Kickstarter. Oh, and this is just, this is just my number five. Let's see what else is coming in the sub 100 category. Now, Endless Winter Paleo Americans. And this is by far the biggest worker placement of the year 2020 dropped on Kickstarter recently. Up for late pledge already. Yep, yeah, you're playing a cave men and women with deck building included and a moving across a map. Beautiful art by the Miko, beautiful minis, and much going on. We are minimum pledging on this baby as it was, an, I think it was a November, November, super busy month. So we had a $1 pledge sum and we'll be paying for these in the new year for sure. We have to do this strategy every year here at the station. But um, yeah, you the $90 pledge is probably what I'm going to go for. It does stretch up to 120, but I've put it in the sub 100 category because the 120 is a playmat and some com resin components, but the resin components are a side grade because it unlocked some amazing ones for the $90 pledge. And you really, it's just a playmat um, if you want to get that for the 120. Not too concerned about that. I'll probably go in on the $90 pledge, but so much exciting stuff was happening on this Kickstarter. One of which was the um, expansion modules for the game, so, so, which one of them was cave painting, which just looks phenomenal. In fact, everything they're throwing at this game looks great. And um, you are getting a complete package when it comes to a worker placement with a good sense of evolution through time as things heat up as you go through the uh, e eras as the cave people. And um, yeah, the modules just adding more fun to the gameplay, more stuff going on during the game to make it more of a um, you know wider experience. And um, oh man, just components, just fabulous. Look at this as a Euro game; it just looks amazing. And here's the cave painting. You can actually do some dry racing board stuff on it as well. So yeah, very, very cool. And um, oh my God, just mega excited. How could you not be more excited for this? So glad we're on the project and look forward to backing it fully. And yeah, a complete deserve, deserve it on the list at number four. So let's go to the next one. Exciting stuff awaits. Trek in the world, a globe trotting board game. Wow, this was the only kickstart of the year that's actually fulfilled and we actually have it in our library and we're in the process of sleeving it up and because it's such a beautiful game and we love adding sleeves to sex up the table. Look, oh, it's already at retail, but wow, the game, the art, oh yes, great family game. Great family game, beautiful art across all the 
you know, against, against all these cards. Great to play um, is, with evening with friends and you can discuss about places you've traveled in the world. We're talking here about all the great tourist sites and really enthusiastically find somewhere and go, oh, that looks really nice. Where is that? You know, plan a holiday around some of the stuff you see in this card. Has lots of information for you to find out as well, but oozing components, great box interior, and the artworks to die for. Oh my God. It just, it was the art that absolutely hit me like a truck when I came to this Kickstarter. And just so much detail and collaboration between the team here. And um, even the bag is now got the logo printed off on it. And um, yeah, really good. These souvenir tiles, they're actually really thick, like very thick. And um, all of it, its components just to die for. The tray's great. And um, here's the Kickstarter exclusive, which adds a, a little bit more gamer in it. Makes it a little bit more difficult, I guess, um, for any it's not. It's like a good gateway game, also, so you can teach people fairly quickly. I think putting these cards in will kind of <laughs> make it a little bit harder. I wouldn't put these in if I was playing with newbies. But great table present, great traveling game, discovering fab fabulous places, going around trying to get souvenirs, and a really really tight game that you can play within an hour. Super fun. Everyone can have fun around the table. Everyone says how art, the art looks amazing. And once it's sleeved up to the nine, it'll be a treasure on the shelf. What an amazing game. Sitting at my number three. No, this one came out of nowhere and is the best kids game on Kickstarter of 2020. Make no bones about it, in the sub-100 category, Creature Comforts. I mean, where did this come from? It just hit me like a truck when it came out. Wow, what a kid's game. Oh, so exciting. Worker placement with so many things in here that will just make it so friendly. You know, you go in on the worker placement, to get parts, you're using these parts to craft things for your house. You're trying to make the, the, the most amazing little cutesy house that can happen. The crafting that you make um, actually has synergy. So if you make the rocking chair, then you can make the blanket for the rocking chair, and then you can make a, um, a footstool to go with the rocking chair, and the footstool, the rocking chair, and the blanket all synergize together to give you loads of love hearts, which is points, basically. Super, super cool. There is also, um, you know, you're rolling dice to, it's dice placement for the worker placement, and there is a global dice you can use as well, which is to help if you, you know, to mitigate a bad roll. You can use like the, the public dice. The components are just drop dead gorgeous. The artwork is very cuddly, everything. You can see here, we'll see how everything changed. It was a great platform. And um, <clears throat> the traveler cards that are people that you'll meet in the inn, these are the comfort cards, which completely got stretched. These are all the crafting cards. You can imp improve the village or your, and the home that you have. More crafting stuff going on here. Um, you know, great colors for the dice for each player. And look at the amazing wood tokens, all screen printed and um, delicious game tray for the up to the nine and just amazing, amazing Kickstarter. And look at all these stretch goals. It completely got stretched out all the way to the end. You bet you. And this company did the best kids game of 2019 too with Fossilis. And it looks like they are going to get the 2020 claim as well for the kids game. Look at those dice. Custom dice now with a paw print, an individual paw print on each person's die. Incredible. 
and uh, dreams coming true. The solo play coming in here. Loads more crafting cards. New travelers. Oh my god, the screen printing came at the end. And oh yes, baby, you bet you. This was amazing. And, um, and at, you look at all these components. You look at everything that's coming in the box. And, um, and you look at the price and you go, oh my god, what a bargain. And that's Creature Comforts. I think the only quibble I have is that Fossilis came with a beautiful shiny box. And the Fossilis box, did we see it? It didn't, there was no stretch goal to make it shiny. Yeah, this thing. So I hope it does come with a bit of foil on the front. We'll see how, how KTBG, the kids table board gaming group, get on with it but I can't wait to get this out and see how it plays and so much friendly that you can you can like with KTBG you can always simplify the game to the level of the kids you're playing with so that that you know they're absolutely amazing and they've just not one out of the park here just stunning I just knocked my socks off peeps it, it came out recently and um, is the pledge open yet yeah the pledge is open so if you're a parent, this is a no-brainer, honestly. Very, very good value. Such amazing quality in the box. Coming from Kids Table Board Gaming are oh, amazing. This could have easily have been the number one of the year for the Sub 100 category. But let's see what the big number one is. All right, the big one is Wonderland's War. And why did this hit the number one? I'll tell you. Because from day one, it was just an average looking game, like retail when I say average. And it just exploded into a Kickstarter monster by the end. Oh my God. It just blew me away. Now, late pledges are here. Shipping is atrocious for Mexico. I had to, I'm, oh, it really pains me that um, we couldn't pledge for this because of that. Even though it's my number one, I hope that they sell the Kickstarter edition when they're in the US because the shipping coming from China is like... <laughs> yeah, so maybe pick this up on their own channel, in their own website is what's coming out. Anyway, Alice in Wonderland, you're going round this table. It started off with loads of um, um, standees and you can see things weren't screen printed and um, it just ballooned out. They had um, daily stretch goals, which I love. Um, these bags, the, these bags went through a lot of iterations in the comments and the updates and um, they, it, they went through so many nice changes and actually got what everybody wanted. Now we've got new bombs. Um, the whole game now has a, f a beautiful set of um, minis across it. What amazed me was like the the daily unlocks was splitting up the um, just great art across it all here was was like knocking out each of these standees to make them minis, and the minis when they announced them looked really really cool and. Um, the Deluxe Edition now, this is coming in at 80, which was fantastic. Look at that Kickstarter box, just the Cheshire Cat, just amazing black box, and it's, you know, shiny. But, you know, um, just beautiful. These are all the minis now that you're going to get in this $80 box. They're all full of character. The uh, All the minis that are for the player characters are all asynchronous too. You've got all these Wonderlandian minis now that are going to be around the, the table and a um, massive box. Look at that monster tray and um, all stuff happening. There was like an upgrade chip section. This is going to push your pledge above 100, but it was like, you know, not, not that necessary, really. And um, But yeah, just amazing. And I'll tell you now, this game will win the best updates during a campaign I've ever seen because James from the team at Druid City Games, he was doing an update every day talking about what people were saying in the comments, 
what the stretch goals were, changes to the stretch goals because of comments that was happening. It was just amazing. What amazing feedback it was watching these videos. And it really made following the campaign a joyous activity. And it turns, it's turning out to be just an amazing game. I can't wait for it to come out in 2021. And when it gets on their own website, I hope to pick it up then, the Kickstarter edition with, fingers crossed, cheaper shipping, because the shipping to Mexico is more expensive than the game. What's going on there? <laughs> this was my big number one of the year for the sub 100 category. And um, yeah, way back early on in the year, completely blew my socks off with the amazing art and how the Kickstarter evolved into just a, a game that was so much different than the retail that we were looking at. And, um, oh man, just so cool, so cool. Well, this has been the best of the sub 100 Kickstarters of the year. This is that video one of two. The next video will be the best Kickstarters above $100. So look out, uh, look out for that on the channel because that has the big blockbusters coming from Little Indies to the big AAA Kickstarter companies and maybe we'll say crowdfunding companies if you know what I mean. So yeah, look out for that tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments what your favorite sub $100 dollar category games were you tell me your games under 100 dollars that you think were in your top list and uh, we can share our opinions down in the ch comment section so thank you so much for watching i'm going to tell you merry christmas i hope you're having a great december i wish you the very best of the happy new year too and yeah this has been kickstarter radio 102.4 i've been lipstick patty your host i've loved doing the channel this year thank you so much for everyone's um, love in the in the comments throughout the year and yeah you take care stay safe and bye bye for now